just bring anointing to these people here. You people here. Let me say, you're anointed here. Could you just come here? This man is following me. A oh, Lord, be anointed. Come, you people here. Come. Let me touch you here, brother. Let me touch you here. Come here. So it's your husband. Okay, come. Okay, this man is a prophet. All right. Come. Jesus' name. Okay, come. This thing will never fight you again. In Jesus' name. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. The beginning has come. Amen. Can you touch your stomach, sister? You, this thing must leave your stomach now. Come out, leave the stomach. Can you put a mic in your mouth? This thing must leave you now. You must leave you now. Come out, you spirit. Brother, can you come here? Then? Come on, come on. What is happening there? Brother, you touch your chest. In Jesus' name. This one. Yes, in Jesus' name. Come on. Come on.
this. So, anyhow, I wanted to touch the few, the few, the few, to touch you, not to prophesy you, to touch you. You, you need a deliverance. That lady also there, I'm, I'm beginning to point people like this lady, that lady that I'm seeing there, this one here, lift up your hand. God loves you, eh? This thing at the bag must leave you. Something in your bag here. Yeah. My sister, there's something in your bag here. Yeah. You always feel pain here. Yeah. Yes, I huh? felt it when I was coming in church. My, I felt pain here. Yeah. In your bed. It's like it was dis my something was dis I don't know disconnecting from my at the back. All right, I remove that thing now. In Jesus' name. Come on. <laughs> leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. You are like fighting her. Leave that lady down there. I know she's healed. <laughs> that brother there, is this brother wearing brow? This brother was praying yesterday in the night. Come here, run to me. I want God to anoint you here. Run there. Run there. Stop there. Brother, you are anointed today. You are anointed, but don't start a church. Don't start a church. Brother, you hear me? Don't listen to people who say you are a prophet. You hear me? Well, people are telling you you are a prophet. Yes. Huh? Yes. Uh, don't start a church. Stand up. In Jesus' name. As long as you are saving, you will make it. Just save, you will make it. If you serve, you are going to make it. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makananesa. And with me here today is my brother who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Mpo. Uh, I'm from Midrand. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and he spoke upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Um, the Apostle, he, he told me that, um, he told me that, firstly he told me that yesterday I was praying, which was true. Uh, then he said God is anointing me, but he also gave me instruction that I need to serve. Yes. W what did he say exactly? He told me that... Uh, the Lord is anointing me, but I will succeed if only I say yes. And he also mentioned about studying a ministry. Would you kindly please tell us? I said I shouldn't start ministry now. I should serve. And kindly please confirm it. Yes, uh, that's true. He also told me that uh, I shouldn't listen to people who are saying I'm a prophet, of which is true. There have been people who are saying those things, but I didn't. I was not paying. I was not giving those things attention. Yeah. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and he ministered upon your life? I'm, I'm really grateful. It shows me that God loves me. Yes. And how would you encourage somebody who's going to come across this clip? Um, it, it's good to always come into the presence of God and receive the word from the Lord. Because I believe a word from God can change your life. Amen. That other, the last one is there. That sister that I'm pointing there. Lift up your hands. God loves you. God loves you. I touch this thing that is happening in your breast. This thing that is happening in your breast. I touch it, I remove it. There will be no breast cancer. Agent. Can you just come here? Amen. You feel something moving in your breast here? Yeah? Yes. Come here. This thing won't eat your breast. This thing won't eat your breast. In Jesus' name. 
it has left you, eh? you will succeed in Jesus' name. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Chipiwa. I come from St. Julian. Today the Apostle located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and that you confirm it, please. Uh, he spoke about um, the pain in my breast um, to say it's um, like cancer that wants to develop. And he prays that um, that um, cancer must be cancelled. And are you aware of the pain that the man of God spoke to you about? And how long have you been experiencing this pain and how has it affected you? I had the pain before and I was prayed for and then it, it, um, it disappeared for a long time. So now it just, it comes and goes. And how do you feel that today the man of God located you and he ministered upon your life and he told you regarding the plan of the devil upon your life? Mm. I feel so relieved because I didn't know what it, what it was and the seriousness of it. I was just ignoring it as in, as in when it comes. And how would you encourage somebody who's watching this? I encourage people to pray and have faith. And um, Holy Spirit lives here. If you really believe whatever problems that you are encountering, you will conquer.